Destination heaven has always been the flight plan for the saved Christian, and he or she should always be waiting with eagerness and expectation for that perfect touchdown. Some years ago, one old man gravely ill heard about a program entitled Heaven. He then wrote to the station controller, and here is what he wrote. Next Sunday you are to talk about Heaven. I am interested in that land because I have held a clear title to a bit of property there for over 55 years. I did not buy it, it was given to me without money and without price, but the donor purchased it for me at a tremendous sacrifice. I am not holding it for speculation since the title is not transferable, it is not a vacant lot. For more than half a century I have been sending materials out of which the greatest architect and builder of the universe has been building a home for me which will never need to be repaired because it will suit me perfectly, individually, and it will never grow old. Termites can never undermine its foundations, for they rest upon the rock of ages. Fire cannot destroy it, floods cannot wash it away. No locks nor bolts will ever be placed upon its doors, for no vicious person can ever enter that land where my dwelling stands. Now almost completed and almost ready for me to enter in and abide in peace eternally without fear of being ejected. There is a valley of deep shadows between the place where I live in California and that to which I shall journey in a very short time. I cannot reach my home in that city of gold without passing through this dark valley of the shadows. But I am not afraid, because the best friend I ever had went through the same valley long, long ago and drove away the gloom. He has stuck by me through thick and thin since we first became acquainted some 55 years ago, and I hold his promise in printed form never to forsake me nor to leave me alone. I hope to hear your sermon on heaven next Sunday from my home in Los Angeles, California, but I have no assurance that I shall be able to do so. My ticket to heaven has no date marked for the journey, no return coupon. Yes, I am ready to go and may not be here while you are talking next Sunday evening, but I shall meet you there some day. Well, there you have it, the letter from an old man contemplating death. And sadly, that old man never lived to hear this broadcast. But what about you, my friend? Are you ready to experience that coming kingdom? Millions you know won't be. So don't get left behind. After listening to this, please repent today. Well, I see my time is up. So from both of us at this ministry, End Times Coming Radio, thank you, and as always, Maranatha.